Um, is a man that sometimes is listed as court manager at one sometimes he is listed as diary manager. Mm. Um, it's fair to say that he's got me um, under some scrutiny because he's seen me um, attend yeah. to help assist people to get the computerised records. He's seen me um, at Hammersmith. Yeah. Why would he? Sorry. Why would he? Why would he um, target you? Why would he? Why would he have you under scrutiny? What, well, what because done that upsets him. He doesn't like the computerised records being seen by the public. Which For is instance, a public right. It is a public right. Is there um, any numbers and letters that go with that? If people want to actually go and access stuff, um, what what do they need to know? What what paperwork do they need to take? And what they, do they have to quote? They need to say that under CPR rule 5.4 back it's 2, they wish to see the computerised records and all the papers filed before and after the claim because amongst those papers, yeah. it, the first thing is they don't tally up with the computerised records at and, all. And to be clear, you think that all of the targeting, including the assaults on yourself mm. and on Raymond mm. and on maybe other victims, mm. is all to do with the fact that you've highlighted clear and concisely that these computer records don't exist. Is it that they don't exist? Or uh, it Nat, you've highlighted something quite weird that I've been thinking because when you look at the computerized records, because yeah. they don't tally with the draft orders, which they are fooling the public into believing that's a judge's order. Right. Um I have got a theory that these computerised records are made up after the event because they take about two to three weeks to get them to you. Right, okay. You may not be getting the true computer record. Sure. Okay, and Barry is a sometimes court manager. He's, he's observed you. You've come up onto his radar yeah. as being, what, a thorn in the side of the system? Um... Well, I call 999 for the police, and when I went to Hammersmith yeah. um, to get Raymond some computerised records, yeah. that occasion I went on my own, I was subject to aggression from Who's he? He's someone that works under Barry Yes, okay. they're, they're all linked. Yeah, yeah. Um, four police from Hammersmith and Fulham came out and assisted me, and they agreed with me. He said the whole was violent. Yeah. I lodged a complaint that went yeah. nowhere. Did you actually get to see those records that you were demanding? No, even no. to this day, yeah. they are still outstanding and it looks like I have to get a High Court writ to yeah. compel them to hand them over. Yeah, but because yet you have a public right to see them any time uh, you like. Yes, because yeah. 1984 County Courts Act, every county court shall be a court of public record. Right. Oh. Interesting. So he's targeted you. Um, and how long has he been? How long have you been on his radar? Does it fall under the scope of the assault, serious assault against yourself? Oh yeah, because um, it's and been. And how long before that? It's been a tough year. It's been. Yeah. It's been all through 2015 up to now. So yes. Yeah. He even commented to me last time when he saw me at Hammersmith. Yeah. And when I went back for the second time, because they've refused Raymond's papers, uh, computerised records and papers mm. three times, Yeah. Um, he said to me, oh you, mm. you're always at the courts, uh, yeah. to which I replied, yes so are you, you'll flip round different courts don't you, and yeah. he didn't like it. Yeah, so... And he, I noticed he looked very tense and nervous. Yeah, it, and well, you're, you're on the cusp of exposing so uh, um, um, one of the biggest scams in, in, of the century really, aren't you, the, the court system. Uh, yes. And, uh, and how it's been manipulated. Um, um, also, um, he now has his own resident policeman at the court, mm. who when the police did come another time when I went, after that, because I'm not one to give up lightly, um, when two police arrived, the resident policeman he had there, if he was that, sidled mm. over and said, it's all right guys, I've got this covered. Mm. That was our chance of any help going. Yeah. Unless, if, well, yeah, because I must admit, if I had been there, I'd have been the first to go. No, actually, no, a fresh set of eyes on this wouldn't go amiss. You know, let's let's not have it all just because I think you might be wrong. <laughs> like, exactly. You know, I'd have been in there. Like, I wouldn't have had it. Exactly. But, <laughs> but maybe we can do this again. I mean, we've got no, the opportunity I, to go. Um, it's interesting court. to go to a court with me because yeah. 
I keep very calm, and the funny thing is, they get more and more aggressive. Yeah. Well, maybe then, maybe that's an idea for some of the people because mm -hmm. I'm hoping to put this particular mm -hmm. audio out very mm -hmm. soon in the next few hours, so mm -hmm. maybe people out there would would be interested in coming along mm -hmm. um, to see exactly what it is you're trying to I say appear to be the and red how to the and, and how far these mm -hmm. people are prepared to go to keep you quiet. You've had death mm -hmm. threats. You've been seriously assaulted. Um, your friends have been assaulted, you've been mm. you've dragged out of your house, yeah. um, you know, and quite frankly, it's almost like they, they, they've already said, you know, if you carry on digging, you know, you, you're going to end up dead. Um, so we may as well pull the full public resource and go and do it one more time in your face in a court and or whichever of yeah. you choosing, whatever way you want to do it, and we'll, we'll all go with you. And so, you know, it's, it's, the public won't allow um, the intimidation of mm. someone who's done so much um, good with their experience and and what and their abilities because obviously with the Aspergers that's helped you like you say yeah, I remember you saying the other day that yeah. you know it um, that it is not some of those uh, quali some of those qualities that come in very handy for you when you're working. Well, yeah. Nigel mentioned he's another victim. It's heartbreaking what's yeah. happening to him. He said. Um, I, I, Nis, I hope you don't mind this, but I'm so glad you got Asperger's yeah. because he's got a friend that got it, and, yeah. and it's that, that dig, was it, yeah, uh, digging yeah. at the facts, yeah. you know, too, yeah. and don't. methodical. Yes, that's it, and that, assembly, I think, you know, forensics. That, that is what they're afraid of. I think that's what they're afraid of. So again, yeah, he's he's obviously your nemesis. He's the one that's going to be like targeting you. He is he is behind all of this in your. Um, well, he actually answered the time when the four police came from Hamsworth for Fulham mm. and defended me, and they went into the room to mm. and came out and said he's violent. They looked annoyed mm. because I explained to them, I'm not doing any wrong. I'm simply here mm. shining a light on something. Mm. I've only asked to see something the public are entitled to see. What's the problem? And mm. they agreed, and they went back in, and they come out again very angry. And mm. they said, we had to quote a law to get a name out mm. of him. And they quoted court manager at Hamlet. Mm. Then when I sent off, I said, it's okay, because they said, we don't want to leave you here. Mm. We perceive that he, he's aggressive and threatening. I said, well, that's okay, because I'm going to take this name off you. Thank you very much for your help. And I'm going to write a letter to And then she didn't answer. did. Mm. It was as if she didn't want to answer my searching questions and mm. she gave him a call and he he'd, suddenly found you. Yeah, he contacted and he put in a letter, which I've still got. Mm. In this case, you will not be getting the computerized records. To which I replied in writing, why mm. in this case mm. will we not be getting the computerized records? Mm. You never got an answer? Mm. No, he wouldn't answer. Well, let's go and ask him. Let's ask him. Where's he? Where's he? What's the problem? Him? Yeah, isn't it? It's strange. Um, yeah, I think there was. Then we've been teams... told. Then in another letter, we've asked the judiciary. Yeah. Now, when they say the judiciary and not mention the judge, mm. there's a fair assumption that the staff are mm. saying that. Mm. Indeed, we've even had one lady, a lady in Bournemouth, I talked to. She said that a judge emailed her and said, computerised records, they don't exist. I said, well, you've got him lying on an email now. Mm. 